Good day, it is Steven Davids here and in this video I just want to show you how to create a reset button in LibreOffice Calc. By, by reset button I mean a button that will refresh whatever calculation you have there or if it's a random number, a sum or whatever. Anything that is dependent on you pressing ultimately the enter key on your keyboard. I will show you how to create things from the very start. There may be other methods to do it and other ways, but I'm not aware of it. I was searching the internet and this is therefore my solution I propose. I start off by inserting a column just before the A, present A1, at the furthermost left-hand corner of the spreadsheet. Insert a column, insert column before, so this then becomes your new column A. And uh, of course the rest of the columns will be renamed accordingly, automatically. I then go to Tools and Macros and activate the Record Macro button. And in this first cell A1, I then type in a formula, a simple formula, uh, X, Y, Z or whatever, for example, um, plus X1, cell X1, plus cell Y1. Those cells can be empty. It doesn't matter. The only thing is those cells must be located far away um, where you won't activate it. Maybe the left or the bottom of the of the uh, spreadsheet. And, after, and then I just press the enter key and it will then go here at the uh, a second cell. Stop recording, stop recording it and then uh, I save this macro as part of the uh, existing spreadsheet. It's my choice. Click on the sum because this is the uh, name of the spreadsheet. And then I just uh, click in a new module, module one. Okay, and then um, module one, save. Test the macro, to tools, macro, run macro. Let's get it out of the way there. I want you to show that it changes now one, one times nine. Summary, standard, module, Macro one, and then uh, just click here, run, and you can see now it's two times eight. So the macro is performing well. You now need to meaningfully engage the macro by inserting a form button. Let us minimize uh, this uh, cell uh, width and then you go to insert form control. Click on push button. I prefer push button and then you draw a push button here close to the where you can see everything. Push button. Okay. Now you need to form mat the push button in order to do that and to engage the macro go and uh, control properties then on the control properties go to the events and then in the events because i want to activate it when uh, the mouse is button is pressed i click on the uh, mouse button pressed event Click on the uh, buttons here and then macro assigned and you click here macro and the macro that is assigned is then in this document here. Standard, module one, macro one, okay. And then uh, you press okay. 
I also then at the same time want to format uh, the look of this uh, push button. I go to general and then instead of the label having push button, I type here reset. I then go to the font from the, after renamed the label, I then go to the font and move it downwards, downwards until I reach here font. I want a better font according to me, font that looks better, uh, maybe bolder around 14 and then perhaps uh, a font like uh, uh, make it Cambria and I want it bold, Cambria bold, okay. And I also want to change the color of this tab. Go to default, make it green. And then close it. Close it and then save it. In order to test this reset button, I then first save it and then close it and then open it again. Now let us test it. You see it is working. You have to close it and then test it. Okay, so it is working. What I then further do is in order not to let this um, first shell show where the um, calculations are. So what I then do is I just uh, usually my just format the cell first to show that it is um, off limits. A format cell. I like it to uh, just draw it through borders and then just uh, click it through. That's you can whatever form makes you feel good you can have there. And then also what I do further is, is in that I simply hide it. I click on the column and then left click and then you see a hide column. So the column is hidden and if you reset it, it still works. If you then further also just um, this thing is not uh, for you at a suitable place, you must just need to uh, move this by invoking the uh, toolbars, uh, form control, and in the form control you have the design mode, and then on the, and in the design mode click on the uh, reset button, click the right click, right click there and then go to control properties. In control properties you go to the general tab and then you will see general. Here is position X. Yeah, make it, I just want to make it extreme so that you can see here. Position X is uh, 15 and position Y is, um, she's totally disappeared now. So make it my, uh, is it again, 25, and this is a 6. You see that this came back, make it 6, and then uh, close it. You see it moved there. And of course then you save everything, and uh, the idea is then that uh, you close this also, the control box. Uh, get out of the design mode, sorry, view toolbars, uh, the form controls, get out of the design mode, and then you uh, view uh, uh, of the design mode and then close this form controls. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.